I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus. You understand there are Christians that have already been beheaded for the witness of Jesus. And it's foretelling us that it will happen again. Those that will not receive the mark, the devil will behead people. This is what the Bible is telling us. Notice what it says. They're beheaded for the witness of Jesus and the word of God. Why? Because they wouldn't worship the beast or his image. They didn't receive the mark in their forehands or in their heads. They lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. I want to I share something with you called the laws of Noah. Have you guys ever heard of the laws of Noah? Well, if you didn't know it, our government says this is what our nation was founded upon. Now, wait a minute. I thought, surely the Ten Commandments, if anything, right? I mean, we have this big debate about the Ten Commandments in schools. Well, really, Jesus brought it down to one commandment, love. Love God, love your neighbor, right? Education Day USA was first celebrated on April the 20th, 1986, and was designated by Congress in House Joint Resolution 582. The purpose of the day was to explain and teach about how the United States was founded on the seven Noahide laws. I'm going to teach you about the Noahide laws. And listen, who knows about the Sharia law? Under Sharia law, can they kill Christians? Yep. Noahide laws are the same way. And it's already been passed in our House of Representatives as an American law. The seven laws of Noah. This day also coincided with the 86th birthday of the late Rabbi Manikim Mendel Schneerson. The rabbi, as he was affectionately known, was still and is in some ways the head of the worldwide Lubavitcher movement. Chad Bad Lubavitch. Have you guys heard of that? It is a racist organization. It is liberal, left-wing, starting riots, printing propaganda. It is a Jewish movement. It is Zionistic. They've caused a lot of problems. They've caused riots. The, the, Lud, the, the Chad Bad, as it's commonly known, the Lubavitcher movement. Here's what it says. And we respect the Rebbe and his accomplishments in the world of Judaism and his role of teaching about the Torah and the rewards of observing mitzvahs in doing good deeds. By the way, mitzvahs, or what they teach, if we do enough mitzvahs, it will balance the scale and their Messiah will come. Our Messiah has already come. Judaism today is saying, if we do enough good deeds, then we can bring in the Messiah. And that's what the third temple is about. That's what the Zionist movement's about. That's why they're trying to restore the land in Israel right now to set up a Christ. But he is not the Christ. So this is what it's all about. Uh, the mitzvahs and doing good deeds. We support the Lubavitcher movement, which suggests you learn more about them. We applaud the work they do in the communities and serve around the world. They are helping large numbers of people learn about Hashem. Hashem is a word that they use for God, but it means the name. They won't even say God's name. Now, if you really, if you like loved your wife, would you say, I love you so much, I'm not even going to say your name. I'll just call you name. It's kind of weird when you think about it. They serve another God. If they don't have the Son, they don't have the Father, is what 1 John 2 tells us. They don't claim Jehovah. They claim the universal name. They were helping large numbers of people learn about Hashem. We do, not, we do not support that Rabbi was the Moshiach or the Messiah. That was what they said back in the day. when he, he is the Messiah. He's got the laws of Noah. We're getting this instituted into law. He must be the Messiah. Nope, he didn't fulfill it. He died. <laughs> the Messiah won't die. They're looking for a conquering king in Israel to build the third temple. That's what they're looking for. So they're saying, we don't support that he was the Messiah. Uh, as he did not fulfill the necessary tasks that are required. We suggest... You check the section regarding the Messianic age for further explanation of what was required to be the Messianic king. By the way, Jerusalem right now is on a countdown because they have a prophecy in the Talmud, the Babylonian Talmud, that whenever Jerusalem becomes the capital, that there's only a few years before they're expecting their Messiah. So they're short in time looking for their global leader to set up a third temple and reinstate the sacrifice. 
Nevertheless, we accept the challenge of continuing to request to teach uh, the entire world about the seven Noahide laws. Please see the section concerning, okay. The following information is taken exactly as it appears in the public records of the United States of America. House Joint Resolution 582. 99 Congress in the United States of America, the second session begun and held at the city of Washington on Tuesday, the 21st day of January, 1986, 1986. Joint Resolution to designate April 20th, 1986 as Education Day USA. This is, the, this is the guys. Well, it's an edu everybody loves education, right? Education about what? The Antichrist. Whereas Congress recognizes the historical tradition of ethical values and principles, which are the base, basis of civilized society upon which our great nation was founded. Whereas these ethical values and principles have been a bedrock of society from the dawn of civilization, when they were known as the seven Noahide laws. Guys, there are no seven laws of Noah in any holy scriptures. You will only find it in the Babylonian writings called the Talmud. Whereas without these ethical values and principles, the edifice of civilization stands in serious peril of returning to chaos. If we don't keep the seven laws of Noah, it's all over, right? Whereas society is profoundly concerned with the recent Weakening of these principles that has resulted in crisis that beleaguer, beleaguer and threaten the fabric of civilized society. Whereas the justified preoccupation with these crises, crises must not let citizens of this nation lose sight of their responsibility to transmit these historical ethical values from our distinguished past to the generation of the future. Whereas the love of itch movement has fostered and promoted these ethical values and principles throughout the world. And whereas Rabbi Manikim Mendel Schneerson, leader of the Lubavitch movement, is universally respected and revered, and his 84th birthday falls on April 20th, 1986. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Senate and the House representatives of the United States of America in Congress assembled that April 20th, 1986, the birthday of Rabbi Manikim Mendel Schneerson, leader of the head of the World Lubavitch Movement, is designated as Education Day USA. The president is requested to issue a proclamation calling upon the United States to observe such a day with appropriate ceremonies and activities. Approved April 22nd, 1986, by Ronald Reagan. Now, this is a serious issue, guys. Our government has already passed the law. And you say, well, what in there says they can decapitate us? How are you connecting that to Revelation 20 where it says they were beheaded? Here's the seven laws of Noah. Number one, not to worship idols. Hey, we would agree with that, but wait a minute. Who is their God? Hashem? Or uh, um, what's the female deity? Shekinah. You ever heard somebody talk about the Shekinah glory? This is a pagan deity that comes out of the Talmud and people in churches preach it like it's God's word. They have a false God. And they say, if you disagree with their God, which at this time will be the Antichrist, he will rule by the seven laws of Noah all around the world. And if you disagree with him, then that's called idolatry. If you say, no, 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 no. You're not the Christ. Jesus was the Christ. They would say that's blasphemy and idolatry. I'll show you in a minute, according to their law, worthy of death. Here's the seven laws. Not to worship idols. Do not curse God. So if you say, he's the Antichrist, they'll say, you're cursing God. You should be put to death. Do not commit murder. Sounds good. Do not commit adultery or sexual immorality. Sounds good, but I also have to warn you about the Talmud, that it specifically it says if, a, if, if you can have, you can molest children and that's not called normal adultery. It's bizarre what the Talmud teaches. It's, it's horrible. Not to steal, we can agree with that. But now in the Talmud also, it defines those that are not Jewish as cattle. Like we don't have a soul. We're called goyim. We don't have a soul. We're soulless. We're goyim. We're cattle. It's okay to kill or steal from cattle. They don't have a soul. They they're not eternal. Not to eat flesh from a living animal and to establish courts of justice. Notice number seven is to establish courts of justice. This is what the Antichrist is going to operate under. 
and they're getting it passed all over the world. They're even getting it put into place in certain states, and this is how they're going to operate. It's called the Seven Laws of Noah. Do your research. Now, this is what the Talmud says. This is one of the Talmudic jurists. That's one of their rabbis. Here's what they say. How must the Noahides fulfill the commandment to establish laws and courts? They are obligated to set up judges and magistrates in every city to render judgment according to these six mitzvos, six laws for the Jews, seven for the Goyim, the, the Gentiles, and to admonish the people regarding their observation. A Noahide who transgresses these seven commandments shall be executed by decapitation. That's the Talmud. It's the Talmud that teaches us that there's a Babylon, that there's a uh, Abraham's bosom in hell. It's the Talmud that teaches us that Jesus burned in hell. It's the Talmud that teaches us these, but, but, but these doctrines have made their way into Bible-believing churches, and they just repeat it as if it's true. And I'm here to warn you that the National Education Day that our government passed is a conspiracy against Christianity. It's a conspiracy against the Bible. 